Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing really great. If you can hear me sound really nasally and blocked up, it's because I have a cold for like the second time this season already. I'm pushing through it to film this video for you guys. So if you hear me being a bit nasally, then that is why this is not the way I talk. If you're new to my channel, and if you are new to my channel, welcome! My name is Abby, I am a 20 year old student and I live in England. I make YouTube videos on helping you on your journey of self growth and also your journey in your relationship with God. I make lifestyle videos on how you can do this in small ways in your day to day lives and also videos about my faith journey in hopes that this will help inspire you guys along yours. If that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching then make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified every time I upload and without further ado let's actually get into this video. So for this week's video I thought I would film a video which has been on my like to be filmed list for a while. So as I mentioned I'm 20 now, I turned 20 this year and I've started my journey in my 20s and that's kind of scary because I still feel like a teenager. However I feel like I've learned so much from my life so far and I thought that it would be a great opportunity to let you guys know what I've learned so far and maybe encourage you guys and give you guys a little bit of advice as well. So this is 20 things I've learned in my 20 years of my life. Let's get into it. Number one, say yes to opportunities. Don't be afraid to try new things and say yes. Have loads of experiences, put yourself out there, try new things, you never know what might happen, you never know what you might like, and you never know what might come out of it. And this leads on to number two, which is make sure you set boundaries and don't be afraid to say no. So while it's good to say yes and be a yes person, it's also important to make sure that you can also say no and feel comfortable saying no when you don't feel comfortable with something or you don't want to do something. Just setting those personal boundaries in your life not just, you know, in your relationship with other people, but just with yourself is so important. So yeah, make sure you say yes, but also don't be afraid to say no as well if you're not comfortable. Number three, change is okay, necessary and important. You are meant to change in life. You are meant to grow as a person. Things are meant to change and change is necessary for you on your journey in life. I used to be so afraid of change and while I still feel scared of change, I've learned the significance and the importance of it and I've learned to embrace it. Number four, it is important to take care of yourself and your own mental health. It is something that I think is easy to do. It's easy to neglect yourself and to neglect taking care of yourself and doing what you need to do. However, it is important to do that. Make sure you look after yourself. Don't neglect yourself. Do what you need to do to help you. If that is having a day off of work, if that is having a day where all you do is watch Netflix and lie in a blanket, then that is completely okay. You need to learn how to take care of yourself, what your body needs and embrace it and let your body have that time to just kind of like heal and recover in the way that it needs to. Number five, being a Christian isn't about religion, it is about a relationship with God. And this is something that I think is so easy to get focused on, like the laws and the rules and kind of the whole like religious aspect of being a Christian. However, ultimately what it comes down to is having a relationship with God, having that connection with him, that communication with him, knowing that you are loved by him and knowing that he has already forgiven you and he cares more about the relationship you have with him and the time you spend with him than he cares about anything else, like any rules or anything that, you know, like the religiosity of being a Christian. Like. Number six, do more of what makes you happy. You gotta find the things you enjoy in life and you've gotta run with it and just focus on that. If you enjoy reading, read more books. You have to figure out what you enjoy and once you figure out what you enjoy, just go with it because I found that when I do more of the things I love, I feel happier and I feel a bit more like myself and more grounded and everything like that. So yeah, just do what makes you happy. And that leads me nicely onto number seven, which is if you're not happy, you can change your mind. It's never too late. So this is something that I learned particularly with drama school and kind of musical theatre. I just found myself really unhappy and I decided that I was going to change my mind, I was going to do a career swap, I was going to change universities and I do not regret that decision. I think I'm so much more happier and I'm so much more better off now that I'm not there anymore and I think it goes with that of just finding what makes you happy and if you're not happy in what you're doing it's okay to change, it's okay to not do that anymore and it's okay if you need time to figure out what makes you happy as well because it's important to find it and once you find it you're good. Number eight, 
Every season has a purpose and a reason and that is to help you grow. Like I said with the whole thing about change, every season in your life has a purpose. So whether you feel like it's a really good season or you're having a really bad season, there's a reason for that. And I think this goes a lot with my relationship with God because I think, um, you know, we always say as Christians, like God has a purpose in every season, in the seasons of waiting, in the seasons of patience, in the seasons of darkness, in the seasons of light, there is always a purpose and it's important to just think about you know what am I learning in this season what is this doing how is this helping me as opposed to just looking at the negatives it's important to kind of see all that is coming out of the season that maybe isn't what you would want to happen but that is helping you grow as a person number nine social media isn't real it is a highlights reel now this is something that I've definitely learned you know kind of the last few years growing up as a teenager uh, I was kind of like the first generation, I guess, like my generation group as like the first group um, when, you know, Snapchat came out, Instagram came out and stuff like that and the rise of the influencers and stuff. I've spoken about this in my video about body image and insecurities, which I will pop in the cards if you guys want to check that out. But growing up as a teenager and then seeing all these people with their perfect lives and perfect bodies and perfect everything. Like you just kind of see that, internalize that and think, why don't I have that? Why doesn't my body look like that? Why don't I have that life? When in actuality, that is only like a 1% of what they show. And even then a lot of it is just fake and staged. So I think it's important to remind yourself that. If you're seeing influencers and models post pictures on their Instagram, you know, there's a guarantee that most of the time they are gonna be photoshopped. And it's important to know that and to recognize that and to not set that as your standard. So that is definitely something that I've learned and something I try to remind myself and something that with my channel, I try to keep as authentic as possible on here and on my Instagram. I try to keep it as authentic and kind of what my life actually is as opposed to kind of the ideal life because we know that that is what social media shows a lot of the time. Number 10 achievements like grades don't define you and shouldn't. Now, this is something I definitely learned coming out of sixth form and secondary school because I used to be, you know, one of those kids that would always really try to get good grades, try to pass their exams. If I didn't get above like a 90%, I would be really down on myself and be really hard on myself and I always used to strive for the top grades and I'm not saying I don't anymore because I definitely still do however I feel like I'm getting to a better place with it and it's something that I've definitely learned and it's something that I've definitely learned that you know and it's something that I've definitely learned that these things don't define me and shouldn't be a defining factor of who I am as a person. And it doesn't have to be grades, it could be anything like, you know, getting into drama school is a big thing for me. Like, if I didn't get in, I'd feel like a failure. And I think it's easy to get like that about a lot of things in life when actually you are not a failure and it doesn't define you, it shouldn't define you. And whoever makes you feel like it should, cut them out of your life. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> Number 11, be your own best friend. You are the only person that will be with you for your whole entire life. Other people will come and go, but you are the only person that is gonna be with you 24 seven throughout your whole life. So you need to be your own best friend. You need to look after yourself. You need to treat yourself as you would treat a best friend. I feel like I've really learned the importance of kind of treating yourself like you would treat your best friend and respecting yourself like you would respect your best friend and how you would want to be treated. And you do have to be your own best friend in life. Number 12. Mental health is not a taboo. Everybody has it, it is okay to seek help and it doesn't make you feel weak. I definitely used to feel ashamed of struggling with mental health and struggling with anxiety and depression. And I will make a whole other video on my channel about my mental health journey because I feel like that's a whole separate <laughs> separate caveat uh, on my channel. However, I've really learned the importance of looking after my mental health, accepting that sometimes my mental health isn't in the best place and knowing that this doesn't make me feel weak and knowing that it is okay to go and get help for it, to go and seek professional help, whether that is going to the doctors or speaking to a counsellor or even just speaking to a friend or a family member that you know cares for you and wants what's best for you and wants to help you. I've definitely really learned the importance of opening up about it and also opening up about it to the right people. Number 13, be careful where and how you spend your time and make sure you spend it on things that are gonna build you up. 
So this is something that I've definitely learned a lot about and I think this kind of goes with the whole saying of like where you put your energy in is where the energy goes out or something like that. I cannot remember um, what quote it is. When I put my energy or spent my time in things that I know aren't beneficial for me or maybe I you know, no inside, but it's still something that like I, I want to spend time on, you know, I want to do and I know it's not okay for me and I know it's not going to help me as a person and it's just going to tear me down. Like, I feel so much worse off afterwards, but if you put your energy and spend your time into things that you know are going to build you up and encouraging you and everything like that. Like, if they're making you a better person and they're helping you go up and up in the world, like, that is what's important. Number 14. It doesn't matter if people don't like you, popularity, and I put it in quotation marks because it's a social concept, popularity is overrated. I definitely wish I could have told myself this when I was younger in secondary school and I used to be so like down on myself if I didn't feel like I had that many friends in life or I wasn't popular in school but honestly looking back like I've learned that it really doesn't matter that popularity in secondary school is not important because once you get beyond secondary school you're not popular anymore and most of the reasons for popular people being popular in secondary school is because they were mean to everyone and not everyone actually liked them at least that was in my case so yeah that's why i'd say like don't be down on yourself about not having that many friends because it really doesn't matter and yeah if you're in secondary school take that advice because it's very good advice and this leads on to my next one number 15 which is that from this I've learned that having a close circle of friends is what's important and it's important that that circle of the people around you are the people that are going to build you up and help you improve as a person I can't remember that whole idea of the whole like circle thing um but it's something like the five most important people in your life are the people that will shape you into who you are becoming and with that it's definitely important to make sure that those people are not toxic those people build you up those people are encouraging you and are helping you in different areas of your life to grow so yeah i've definitely learned that it's important to have that close circle of friends number 16 I have learned that it is important to surround yourself with other Christians who can love you, encourage you and build you up in a Christ-like way. I have definitely noticed the benefits of having relationships and being surrounded with people around me, being surrounded, being surrounded by other Christians. I really noticed how that has really encouraged me and helped me in my faith journey and also just in my growth as a person. And I think if you are a Christian, make sure you are surrounding yourself with those people that you know are going to help you. Number 17, I have learned that it is important to always be kind to someone, to everyone. I don't know if I said someone. It is important to always be kind to everybody. You only see a small part of someone's life and you don't know the whole picture. You don't understand what's going on at home for them, what's going on in their mind, what they're struggling with. You only see a small fraction of what they put out. So it's really important to think about that and to always be kind to people because you don't know what people are going through. And if you are that one small act of kindness in their day when they're feeling really low, you can make such a difference. So I've definitely learned like the value and the importance of always being kind and always lifting other people up and always encouraging other people. For number 18, I have learned that it is okay if your body changes over time. It is supposed to change because you grow as a person and you keep growing as you get older and it's also okay if your clothes don't fit anymore or you aren't the size that you once were. I've definitely noticed this in the last couple years and again I spoke about this in my body image video which will be in that card still if you want to check that out. This is something I've definitely learned more the last few years but it's okay if your body changes. I used to really beat myself up if I no longer fitted into like the size of clothes I used to but I've learned that it's just a natural part of your body and yeah not to get too focused on that. Number 19 make sure you do more of what you love every day I guess this ties into do more of what makes you happy but find what makes you tick find what you love doing like to the core of you and do more of that whether you love reading um, whether you love helping people kind of find what you love to do and run with it and do more of what you love every day because it will make your days feel more fulfilled and and for the 20th thing that I have learned in my 20 years of life I have learned that you are going to grow as a person you are going to keep growing as a person and that means learning about yourself more and more every day so just do that learn more about yourself 
spend time with yourself, learn what makes you tick, learn what makes you happy, learn what fulfills your soul and fulfills what you need and just go with it. So that is it for this video, 20 things that I have learned in my 20 years of life so far. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and definitely leave a comment down below of anything that you've learned in your life so far or if you've learned any of these things maybe you can add to it and we can kind of encourage each other in the comment section. If you did enjoy this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you get notified every time I upload and also follow me on Instagram, I upload quite frequently on there and it's where I connect with you guys the most and get video ideas from you guys so go follow me on there thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys have a blessed week to come and remember that jesus loves you always bye guys